They're not sensitive at all. They're fascists. They're not, they actually have no real feelings. When I studied Stalin youth programs, Hitler youth programs, Hitler's chief propagandist, Goebbels. You remember the way the Nazis gained control of Germany was to first take control of the educational system. He represents Joseph Mengele. If I went on Twitter and said, send money to Hezbollah, is going to grow like ISIS did in the Middle East. Domestic terrorist groups, without any doubt. Hey everybody, comedian Maz Jobrani here. So if you've been paying attention, you heard of or you saw Joe Biden's speech where he called MAGA Republicans fascist or semi-fascist. He used the word fascist. And people on the right lost their minds. Tucker Carlson, Kevin McCarthy, how dare you call us fascists? How dare you say that? How dare you? And then... There's these clips from their own network where they keep using the term fascist or fascism or Hitler or Nazis, all of that stuff to describe things like the vaccine programs or the 1619 Project or Black Lives Matter. So they use the terms themselves, but then they get upset when someone else uses the term against them. So snowflake, uh, hypocrite, uh, whatever else. And let's face it, if you want to look objectively at who is fascist, you don't need to go too far. The MAGA Republicans are doing a good job of it. Here's a video of them training for the coming civil war. Hey, 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 yes, that was an actual video of the Patriot Front um, practicing, getting ready for a coming civil war. I don't know what you do with your weekends, but I certainly don't go out into some field with shields and practice for a coming civil war. These people are out of their minds and they're serious and they're a threat to democracy, as Joe Biden said, because they are willing to go to violence to try and save their own power, which really is not under threat but they're convincing themselves that it is under threat. It's the whole white replacement theory. They're being replaced by black people and immigrants and Jews and gays. They're being replaced. Really, if they had spent more time actually working on some skills to improve their hireability or their, uh, um, their, their talents, maybe if they'd done that instead of gone out in the field and played, you know, battle civil war, maybe they'd be hired over the immigrant. Maybe they'd be hired over the LGBTQ person. Maybe they'd be, maybe they wouldn't get replaced. Maybe they're getting replaced because they're inferior in their talents because they're out there in the field worrying about a coming war that's not really being declared against them. And let's face it, the people on the right do a lot of whataboutism, like, oh my God, the vaccines, that was fascism. Well, no, that was public health. Uh, Dr. Fauci was a fascist. No, he's a, an expert who was telling you what you should do to get through this pandemic, worldwide pandemic. Oh, Black Lives Matter are terrorists. No, they were protesters. Yes, there was looting, but the Black Lives Matter were protesters. Let's look at the real fascists here. The fascists are the people who tell women they don't have a right to choose. Huh, what side is that? Oh, that's the MAGA Republicans. The fascists are the ones who say your vote doesn't count. How dare you tell me that Donald Trump lost? Your vote doesn't count. Let's just send in our own slate of voters and pretend like people of color and black people and people on the left didn't even vote. Let's just do that. That's fascism. Let's attack the Capitol to overthrow, kill the vice president and kill the secretary of state and kill whoever else they wanted to kill that day in order to keep themselves in power. That's fascism. And the problem is there's a lot of cuckoo people in the MAGA Republicans who have embraced this and they are ready to go to war. And the bigger problem is that there's a lot of cowards in power in the Republican Party who won't call them out for it. Case in point, Kevin McCarthy. Let's watch the video. Joe Biden and a politicized Department of Justice launched a raid on the home of his top political rival, Donald Trump. That is an assault on democracy. 
<laughs> there you have it. Kevin McCarthy, many on the right, unwilling to accept the fact that you can have the leader of your party break a law and actually pay for it. He's saying Donald Trump is above the law and then he's spinning everything saying that the raid or the actual subpoena or, 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 or the FBI going into Mar-a-Lago was actually a political ploy from Joe Biden going after his political opponent. Doesn't mention one thing about the fact that Donald Trump took top secret documents that you're not supposed to take. Nobody takes those. Donald Trump's been breaking laws his whole life. He continues to break laws. He is a narcissist. He is not somebody that cares about the people of the actual party. He cares about power. And now Kevin McCarthy shows that he too is more obsessed with party over country. So here he is paying homage to his leader. And therefore, as we see, that's what happens in fascism. It's the cult of personality. So please, Fox News, Kevin McCarthy, all you people, please spare me all of the, the, the anger or the shock at Joe Biden saying you guys are semi-fascist. He should have said you're fascist because you really are. That's what fascism is. Fascism is this form of government that will implement its ideas on you, even though democratically speaking, numbers speaking, there's a majority of people that want something else. A majority of people want a woman's right to choose. But fascists say, no, we're going to tell you what you can and cannot do. A majority of people want some uh, uh, sensible gun legislation. Fascists say, no, we're going to tell you what to do. Majority of people want votes to be counted. Fascists say, no, we're going to tell you what to do. I was born in Iran. I saw this happen in Iran where the government became a religious government. It became a cult of personality and it took away people's rights. And the people doing that right now are the people on the right, the MAGA Republicans. So vote, people. Vote 2022. Vote 2024. Vote the rest of your life because if you don't, those crazy cuckoos who are training for civil war are going to come after you. So... With that said, come see me live. I do shows. They're funny. Uh, but uh, vote. Bye.